Hi, and welcome to the video on Roman numerals. By the end of this video, you should be able to read and write using Roman numerals. Here we have the Roman numerals number system. It uses capital letters to represent different values and different numbers. This number system was used from about 300 BC and is still used a little bit today when you look at the end of movies for dates as well as for some page numbers in books. When the letters are written next to each other, they are added together to make a number. So the number 15 is written as XV, which is 10 and 5. The number 371 is CCC, L, XXI. That's because the three C's represent 300, the LXX represents 70, and the I represents the 1. We're not allowed to write more than three of the same letter in a row. So 4 cannot be written as IIII, and 9 can't be written as VIIII. At this point, you should probably pause and summarize what's on the screen. The Roman numerals and what their symbols are is extremely important for later on, but you may also want to have this example just in your books. Okay. How do we write 4 and 9 then if we can't write 4 ones in a row? Well, when a smaller value is written in front of a large value, it means to subtract. So if we want to write 4, we write it as IV, which is read as 1 before 5. 9 is IX, which is 1 before 10. When writing large numbers like 999, be sure to represent each place value with a different set of Roman numerals. For example, 999 is 900 plus 90 plus 9. This in Roman numerals is CM for the 900, which is 100 before 1000, XC for 90, which is 10 before 100, and IX, which is 1 before 10. Another chance for you to summarize now, pause, get down some of the examples here, especially on how to write 4 and 9 and the whole subtraction ID with Roman numerals. Okay, let's have a look at some examples. We're going to start off with A, which is 201. We start with CC, which is two 100s, and a single I for the 1. Pretty simple. 19 is a little bit more tricky. We start off with an X, which represents 10, but then we need to represent 9. Now, from a little bit ago, we wrote 9 as an I with an X before it, after it. Sorry, This means 1 before 10. So XIX is going to be our 19. Finally, this year, 2016. We're going to start with 2000s, which is MM. Then we don't have any hundreds, so we go and look at for the 10, which is going to be an X, followed by a combination of Vs and Is, which is just IV, 2116. Now would be a good time to summarize and write these examples down. You might want to try writing some of your own and writing them the answers in Roman numerals. Okay. Last one. Let's have a look at writing some Roman numerals in our own number system. Here we have LVIII. We start off by looking at the L, which represents 50. The V, which comes after it, is smaller, so we're not going to have to do any subtraction. So we're just going to write down 50 to start with. The VIII can be written together as a 5 plus 3 ones, which is 8, making our number 58. You don't have to write 50 plus 8 first. I'm writing it down so you can see what we're doing here. Just 58 would have been enough. Question B, we see DIV. The D stands for 500. With the I after it, I don't have to worry about any subtraction, so I'm just going to write down 500. Then I have a combination of I and V, but this time the I is before the V, which means that a small numeral is before a larger one. Now I'm going to have to subtract. 1 away from 5 is 4, making our number 504. Lastly, we've got a tough one. There's a lot of letters there. MCM L XXX II. The M stands for a thousand. So I'm going to start off by writing down the thousand because the C after it is not, is not bigger than it. But when I come to my C, I notice that the next letter along is an M. This is going to be a subtraction. A hundred is smaller than a thousand. So 100 before 1000 is 900. The L stands for 50, so I'm going to add on 50 here. The X after it is not going to be subtracted from it. Lastly, I look at the three X's and the two I's, and I know that that's going to stand for 32. 
Adding them all together, I get 1982 or 1982, a fantastic year to be born. Why don't you stop now, summarize what's on the screen, get down the hard one and make sure you understand how to do question C. Or you can write your own and try and come up with the numbers themselves. Hope I now that you can read and write using Roman numerals. As always, if you have any questions, you can always email me or just ask me in class in the next available one. Thank you very much.